it is Wednesday. It is 27 degrees and it is mid-May. You want real? I'm a vision today with this hair. Um, good morning friends, it is like 6.15 and um, it is Wednesday and I am filming today. I actually filmed a lot and then I deleted it all um, because I just didn't feel like sharing. <laughs> but today we're together, we're at home. Um, yeah, um, like I said, it's around 6.30, the sun is coming up. Uh, and I'm going to get some coffee made and I have work to do this morning but I don't have any like meetings until 10 so I have like a little bit of time which has been not the case this week this week literally every meeting has started around 7 30 8 o'clock so um have like a little moment um to get situated and get some work done before anything like meeting wise happens so we're gonna get started Okay, I want to share with you something that I started last night, and I'm going to continue to play with it to see if I like it, but I started a digital planner. This one I purchased off of Boss Planner. I'll leave it linked down below just in case you're interested, but let me show you around. I haven't filled a lot of it out. I'm going to work on it a little bit more this evening, but I got it started, and I have to say I kind of really loved it. All right, so let's see. This is my first page. And up here, let me see. There we go, I can make it a little bit bigger. Up here it says reading, habit, matrix, priority, monthly, weeks, weekly, daily notes. So if I click on reading, you can see that right now, I don't love this setup, but we'll make it work. Right now I'm reading all adults here. I literally just went to Safari, pulled the clip art from the cover of the book and embedded it. I love it. Then I thought to the right of it, I'm going to then jot down some notes around the book, like if I recommend it, who I'd recommend it for. Um, yeah, I just thought it was really cool. All right, let's go to the next section. The next section is my habit section. So I have workout, hydrate, journal, devotions, read, vitamins, get outside, eat healthy. And then if you pull down and you click the pen, I can literally just click on the highlighter and highlight when I do it on that day. But I just think it's really cool. And then I have a little place at the end of the week where I can journal about it. I added little clip arts just to like jazz it up really, really excited about it. I don't know why I'm so excited, but I just think it's really great. Then if you go into your monthly, what I really love about this is it's May 13th. So you can literally click just on May and go straight to the calendar. Then you can click on the day and it will take you to your daily page. And you can zoom in so you can write and it's easier to write. You can end up typing. I typed up here. And then in here is the second page of the daily spread. And you can just like write around what your gratitude is, the wins tomorrow. So it's like a journaling page. And then the next day starts. You can also do like a weekly page. And I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Um, I know this angle isn't great, but if you guys get super interested in it, leave a comment down below. And as I work through it, I can do some plan with me's in this system. Um, but it also makes me feel good that I'm using my iPad a lot more. All right, my battery's about to die, so I'm going to charge it and then we'll pick up. So I just finished my first Zoom. It's going on noon. I have a half an hour before I have another one. And that takes me straight until dinner time. Um, I think I'm on like five hours today. So, um, <laughs> literally, I think I did six hours yesterday on Zoom, five and a half today, and I think I have five, actually I have seven hours of Zoom tomorrow. Um, so, uh, there's not gonna be a whole lot in this vlog until after dinner. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm eating for lunch today. It's been like my go-to. Um, and it's delicious, so I thought I'd share that, but I'm just going to make a cup of tea and then get ready for my next call. Um, but yeah, we there will be fun stuff to do later, I promise. I just have to get to 4.30. All right, I am 
making lunch. I have about 23 minutes before I have to be back on Zoom. Um, so what I have is the Trader Joe's multi-grain sourdough bread. I'm just adding some hummus to both sides of it. Now, what I think truly makes or breaks this sandwich is having pickled jalapenos. I love these things, I eat them on like everything. For a little crunch, which I think is super important, not a healthy option, my friends, but just a sprinkling of like the crispy fried onions. Once again, I found mine at Trader Joe's. We're gonna find the good parts of this avocado because it's a little overripe. We're just gonna get three good slices of avocado on here. Then, lastly, I'm just going to grab just a little arugula, which is my favorite green. I'm just going to smush it together. And that is going to be my lunch today, and it's delicious. All right, so before I hop on my next meeting, a package arrived. I shared this company on my Instagram. Dr. Liz created a company called Illuminate Life. Uh, it is oils and diffusers and candles all um, infused with crystals. So she sent me a little package, sample scents. I literally loved everything so much. And she was so kind to send it my way that I wanted to support her business. So I hopped online and ordered, and she has already shipped it, packed it, and sent it back to me. Um, not sent it back, sent it to me. But it is Illuminate Life. Thank you so much for your order and all the social media love. As a new business owner and a woman, it means so oh, the world to me. I included an extra candle and wick trimmer. Oh my goodness, eco-friendly. They're 100% cotton eco-friendly wicks like to be trimmed to one eighth of an inch prior to burn to present, prevent soot and optimize candle burn. If you need or want any products, please let me know. Stay well and best, Dr. Liz. She, I ordered to support her for sending, and here she is sending me an additional candle. I now don't even remember what I ordered. I do know I ordered the Calm Essential Oil Rollerball. The packaging is stunning. It just says Calm, and you can actually see all the crystals in it. I love it, but the packaging is just so beautiful. But wait till you see these candles. So this one is the Energy Candle. It was one of my favorite scents. Each comes with a little package of matches. But look, oh my gosh, this one smells so good. There are crystals in the candles. And then you take the crystals out after the candle burns. There's like instructions, you like take, um, when there's a half inch remaining, gently remove the crystals, wax and wick. You reuse this as like a cocktail glass, which is exactly what I'm going to use them for. So that is energy. I wanna keep it all nice and neat. And then each one also tells you exactly what the gemstones are good for. In my first package, she also sent like a little guide. Then this one is strength. I'm just going to take the um, matches out and set them aside. Aren't those beautiful? Oh my gosh, this makes my heart happy. And then this one is calm. This one's going to go on my bedside table. Once again, just uh, the packaging is just out of this world. I love that the package matches the gemstones. And then this one is Focus, and this one I'm actually gonna burn. I've been burning, she sent me a little travel one and I loved it so much um, that I wanted this one next to like my little desk. But that is Focus. And then she sent me a complimentary wick trimmer. I'm just letting you know the quality of her packaging and of the product cannot be matched. This is the most beautiful wick trimmer I've ever seen. 
this. It's stunning. Like I said, I would love for you to all support her because I believe so strongly in her product and just her as just a nice human being. And I think if you're able to support new businesses, now is the time to do it. Um, you can see over here, I haven't gotten everything out yet, but I have like a little stockpile of things. This is actually not in there right now because I'm using it. Um, this one needs to go upstairs, but I have like a reed diffuser I haven't cracked out yet. The defense candle. Um, yeah, I'm just, this is like a diffuser oil. I'm waiting for a diffuser to come for it, but I'm gonna put these in there because I cannot wait, cannot wait to use them. I'm always afraid I'm gonna grab the wrong one, but my better life produce cleaner. Um, I'm just gonna give this two apples a scrub because I'm hungry and I am doing Weight Watchers currently and these are zero points. I do not love the smell of that produce um, wash. However, you can feel how much cleaner the apples are and how it breaks down any like wax that might be on it. Um, yeah, love them. So it is going on 5.30, but I had to show you this page in my planner. I stopped working around five and then just decided to like doodle with this for a little bit to relax and unwind. Totally was effective. Um, but I feel like I'm totally getting the use of or the hang of doing um, some digital planning. This is dinner. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I'm literally going to make this up. Um, it's gonna be a play on a lemon pea pasta that I make for Steven and I often, but I'm just gonna change it up a bit. So what I have going on now are two small shallots, um, three cloves of garlic, some fresh oregano. Normally I throw in fresh herbs at the end, but I threw this in a little bit earlier just to get the flavor more incorporated. Um, some red pepper flakes, some salt and pepper, and I'm just letting that all cook together right now. I'm hoping we have some white wine that I can splash in here as well. So let's, let's see what we got. Okay, white wine. Do I, we're gonna throw this in. We're gonna do this Sauvignon Blanc um, once it's ready to deglaze a little bit. We're gonna add some lemon. We're just gonna make it work. Use what you have. Use what you have. Mm, this smells really good. But anything with garlic and shallot is gonna smell amazing anyway. What I really like when you're doing a pasta that's gonna have like an oil-based sauce is to add a little bit of butter. I find that the butter and the olive oil balance each other out really nicely. So it makes it just slightly richer. All right, let's get this going a little bit more before we splash in the white wine. All right, I feel like I got some really good color um, going on on the bottom of my pan, some dark bits. That's the perfect time to add the wine because it'll break all that flavor off the bottom and really get it going. Scientifically, here we go. One, two. That's how much wine we're adding. I'm gonna let this reduce, let it cook off the alcohol so really you just have the wine flavor left. Beautiful. All right, while that's going, I'm gonna get some zest of this lemon. I'm not gonna add the juice yet because you'll lose a lot of the flavor while it cooks, but the zest will get some of that lemon flavor infused in there. So I'm gonna just zest roughly this whole lemon. Add that in there. Cut the ends off of these green beans. I'm just gonna throw them in there so they can start cooking a little bit. Add some frozen peas. What I'm going to toss in at the very end, even after my pasta has even cooled a little bit is some arugula just because I have it and then some parmesan cheese and then the lemon and just toss this all together and this is literally going to be our dinner this evening just added the pasta I'm going to get this all combined I'm actually going to turn off the heat now 
just make sure that I get all the flavors kind of incorporated. I'm going to add the juice of one lemon. And lastly, I could not need to use it up anyway. You could use spinach, you could use any green that you have. I'm just gonna throw some arugula in there, That's more than enough, and give that a stir. Throw it all over the place, make a mess. Beautiful. Just gonna dump this in here. I thought I'd take a minute to show you the finished dining room. The dining room set is from uh, our house. It's our favorite furniture store and actually where most of our furniture is from in our home. Six black chairs, but right now I just think four is enough. But nice to know that we can seat eight really comfortably. This is the table with the two end extenders on, which I think the scale of it looks really good. A uh, new light fixture is from Studio McGee or McGee and Company, which is uh, their actual store that you can buy online. Shipping was relatively fast, even though they said it would be delayed. It has these like amazing starbursts. And then I don't think you can see on the ceiling there's another starburst. It's just a stunning light. And also the proportion is really good. It's super large. However, it's still very airy. Um, the buffet, once again, also from our house. It's really just beautiful. All these open up. I'm gonna put all my white serving wear in there. Right now I have a stock of Bath and Body Works candles in there. But a lot of this is from the Studio McGee Diffusion line on Target. It has a beautiful marble top. And then the art is all Studio McGee as well. But we're really, really happy with it. It feels like it very much goes with our home and just our style in general. I just finished doing my digital planner for tomorrow and I've grown so much as far as like making it look really, really great. And I'm so proud of it. I'm learning how to manipulate things a lot better. And then I did this whole page, which is so awesome, but I could not be prouder of this. And I really like this system. It's super personal and customizable. So like tomorrow I'm gonna insert a post-workout selfie right there. And it also works as like a, almost like a journal. So this is my today's notes and I'm going to capture pictures of things big and small that I'm grateful for and put them in here and kind of use that as a journaling page. I am pumped about this system and you guys know I'm a planner snob. This is something that I also found more therapeutic than any other um, planning time I've ever spent. I just found it so relaxing and enjoyable. Tell them how dinner was. It was excellent, I loved it. He loved the dinner and it was just a thrown together thing. Now I think I'm going to take a bath. Is that doggy still out there? I came in to get my book. What's yeah. he doing? Well, lounging in the grass. What are you doing? Ooh. He just loves to lay out here and sniff. It's the first like decent day we've had in a long time and it looks like it's gonna rain for several days. So, uh oh, he's on the move. I'm getting my scandalous French book. What are you reading? It's translated from the French and it's very scandalous. Um, I was coming out to see you. Does he know that? I don't know, come on. Come on. Daddy, we're going outside. Okay. Daddy's going outside. All right. All right, I'm gonna go take a bath. All right. And we're gonna call it a night. I'm gonna read a little bit. My planning is done, all my work is done and we're just going to relax. I might even have a glass of wine after. But I hope this vlog finds you well. Digital planning, if it's something you're interested in, please leave comments down below. If you cook any of the recipes that I share, make sure you tag me. I wanna see your little creations too of things that you're using at home um, that can inspire me and our meals. 
but uh, it was an easy day. I'm gonna try to do a couple day vlogs this week and see where it takes us, but um, overall, whatever you're feeling is a-okay. These times are weird. Just let yourself feel whatever it is you're feeling, but I hope that this can sometimes work as like a little escape, and that's all I really wanna offer all of you. But in the meantime, I hope that you take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. For goodness sake, just be kind. This is a time where not only yourself um, needs more kindness, but also others need it desperately. So just be kind. And if you can't be, be quiet. <laughs> um, I just think there's a lot going on and people are dealing with a lot of things and everyone's dealing with things the way they can deal with it. And everyone's coping mechanisms are different. So just be kind and gentle with yourself and with others. And my friends, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.